YouTube channel off you're just joining us now welcome I'm so 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 excited to be doing this video so as you will know if you've been on my channel a while I uploaded a video about two three weeks ago now called cleaning my room for the first time in a year yes there was a little bit of clickbait going on there that wasn't strictly true in mind a lot of you seem to enjoy that video and on the back of that video I kind of realized that I did not like my room at all and I think that's half of the reason why why I kept my room messy, why I wasn't really bothered when it was messy. I just didn't like it. I didn't like the furniture, I didn't like the style of it, it had no theme, there was nothing to it. And on the back of that video, I decided to take the plunge and go for it. Do my room, just go for it. So I've literally dedicated the last, I would say, two to three weeks to doing my room. Now, I just want to let you know it was a very, very, very stressful process. I did not realise how stressful redecorating a room was it was very very stressful um but overall the outcome of my room now I am more than happy with I bloody love it I've never loved my room as much as I do now okay so I really really like it and of course you've been asking for a room tour so I thought for the second day of vlogmas we're gonna do a room tour we're gonna jump into it we're gonna show you my room and I'm so excited about it I hope you love it as much as I do and even if you don't love it it doesn't really care because I don't even care because it's not your room it's my room and I'm living in it and I love it okay so I just want to say a special thank you at the beginning of this video to my mom because she was a massive massive help with this room obviously I've said thank you to her in person but I want to give her a shout out on this video she helped me with literally everything she helped me with my wardrobes she got me some bits for it she just helped with a massive help and I wouldn't have been able to do it without her so thanks to my mom so thank you to Sean my fiance because he did also help with my wardrobe and helped with some things in my room as well so just a massive thank you to them too because they were big helps with it um and yeah I also have a few thank yous to say to companies who have worked with us on this so I want to say a massive massive thank you to SBR Saver I'm not 100% sure that I'm pronouncing that right and I really really hope I am but they actually gifted me my bed which it is literally my dream 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 bed it's the bed that I'm sitting on but you will see more of that very very shortly it's actually an ottoman bed and I love it to bits so when I do the full room tour you will actually see more in detail the ottoman everything but thank you thank you thank you Esuba I think it's pronounced Saver for gifting me my bed it's literally my dream bed and I love it so much and we're actually working in a collaboration together to give away one of the beds so we're going to be giving away this bed that I picked up for my room this is the so my my bed is the Stockholm Ottoman bed frame and honestly I love it I did not realize that I needed an Ottoman storage bed till I have one I cannot ever get another type of bed now because Ottoman storage beds are literally life. I've got so much storage for this bed, it's unreal and it's just gorgeous. But you will see more in detail in the room tour of the actual bed. But I just wanted to let you know that I am doing a giveaway with them and I'm so excited to be able to give one of you this bed because it's honestly unreal. All you have to do to follow the giveaway is follow me on Instagram, follow their Instagram which is going to be linked below but also the direct link to this bed will also be linked below along with everything that I mentioned in my room will be linked below if anybody's interested in anything. Um, so yeah, follow me on Instagram, follow the Esposeva Instagram and then third but final thing you have to do is just comment below your favourite part of my room. So what's the favourite thing in my room that you love? Um, and yeah, we'll probably leave the giveaway running for around one to two weeks but I will have the date below that the giveaway ends and one of you can win this bed and honestly it's unreal so get entering. Cheers! to niches who gifted me my Hollywood mirror because I love it which you will see in a minute and then also Barks and Bobbins who created me some personalised quotes for my wall which I love okay but yeah now I've said the thank yous I'm just going to literally get straight into my room tour and I was so excited happy 2nd of December let's go okay so I'm currently standing at the door of my room and when you first walk in this is your view 
Um, so this is just an overview of what you can see from the door of my room. So I'm going to walk in and work this way round because I just am, okay? So when we come in my room, we are looking at this. Um, obviously that's my door and that is just my everyday bag which I hang on the door. But this is the first thing you see when you come to the side of my room. And I'm not going to lie, oh, there's me, hi, I'm obsessed with this, right? I got this from the range. I think I paid about 80, 90 pound for it. And it's just a standing mirror because I don't actually, or I didn't own a standing mirror before I bought this. But what I'm obsessed with about this is you open the door, you've got a little key there so you can lock it and shut it or whatever. And it stores all of your jewelry in. It's honestly just got the best storage. I've got earrings and then I've got loads of stuff down there. And then I've got all this, all of this and oh just nearly brought it all down and yeah and then you can lock it so you got two keys with it and then also mine has the light on you could get one without lights um and you just turn it here at the little battery and it goes on and off i'm obsessed with this i got this from the range and like i said i think i paid about 80 90 pound for it but what i wanted from this room to, like when i was doing my room the main thing i needed was storage because i didn't have storage and i needed storage and i had loads of boxes with jewelry and all over and i just didn't like them so i decided to go and get that mirror i love it because it's a full standing mirror and i've also got jewelry storage which is perfect for me so i'm obsessed with that mirror moving on from the mirror we are now looking at my new dressing table which i love i've just realized a bulb's actually gone out on us oh no oh okay i'll have to get a new one of that but never mind so this is my dressing table now nisha's very kindly sent me this big mirror and what i love 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 about this mirror is this is actually the dimmable light one so there's like a button here and i can turn the volume really really high or have it really really low oh, actually that bulb is working i must not have had it high enough so yeah i can go really really high or really really low so i can dim the light to what my preference is love this and then i also have on the other side there's like a shaver port here i hope you can see and then some usbs here so you can like charge your phone and that with it which i love i'm obsessed with this dressing table i love it to bits it's literally my new favorite thing so the actual dressing table so i got the mirror separate for separate from this niche's site which i will link below then i got this um Lenin dig Lenin table top from IKEA with two sets of the Alex straws also from IKEA. Can I just say these Alex straws are unreal? They hold so much stuff it's literally unreal so then on here i've literally just got a little hand gel because i love hand gel and i have my favorite lipsticks on display at the front then i've got my um makeup brushes my sponge two little mirrors that i bring out when i'm doing my makeup and then like i said i've just got the tabletop here down the side my mom actually stuck this on it's an extension lead but just stuck it on the side so it's easy for us to do my hair and makeup which i love and then brad made us this little sign in it's on my whiteboard and it just says 200k by the end of 2019 so that's like next year and i just love it a bit i think it's so cute so i've just got that there and i'm actually gonna like every so often change that to a motivational quote or something and can we just appreciate my curtains these are like the crushed velvet curtains but they've got a twinkle in them i love them and they're so soft they're unreal so moving on to my dresser I actually kept the stool from my old dresser and just my mum DIY'd it for us and put the crushed velvet material on top because I didn't bloody realise how expensive chairs were. So um, yeah, I decided just to keep that stool. The legs of it are cream. We are going to spray paint them. We just haven't as of yet. And then also in there, I know it's really dark, but I do have like a little black wicker bin thing just tucked away in there. Moving on to my Alex drawers. In the first two drawers, I've just filled them with makeup. If you want to see a full makeup collection, then let me know and I can do a full makeup collection for you. If this video gets 3,000 likes, I'll do that. Um, this is kind of skincare and... Um, so in this drawer, I've got skincare, foundation, uh, not foundations, fake tan, wipes, all that type of stuff in this drawer. Then in this drawer, I've got hair care products, so my hair appliances, hair brushes, bubbles, all that type of thing. In the bottom drawer is also hair stuff, hair bands, stuff like that. So that is that set of Alex drawers. And then in this set of Alex drawers, I've actually got, this is one of them drawers. Everybody has one of them drawers where it's got random stuff in. This is that drawer for me. It's just got random stuff in. The second drawer, 
drawer is another random stuff got a few pads perfumes whatever this drawer again is random stuff this side's kind of my random stuff drawer a few perfumes paper work and um, that type of thing and then i've got clothes in the bottom two drawers as well then i've got this gorgeous marble laundry bin which i got from primark it was in one of my recent primark hauls but i absolutely love it it's just marble and white and it fits in with my theme now we're moving on to my windowsill so on my windowsill i just have a little teddy thing and some pens just kind of tucked behind the curtain um, and then i've just got this which is the silver pane room diffuser i love a good room diffuser so um yeah i really like this so then i've also got my hollywood sign on display i haven't written anything on it yet and i've just got pictures behind it but i kind of just like that on the front of it um so yeah so then moving on I've got my little quote here on my light box which says make things happen and I love this I love this quote and yeah I just really am loving quotes at the minute so I really like this and then I've got a little array of like flowers and greenery so I've got this little cactus which actually came from Poundland I've got this little cactus here which actually came from Lands of Rotley last year and then also this little flower which is actually from B&M but I just like a little bit of greenery in and then I also have this engagement candle which is an engagement is the beginning of a happily ever after and it's in a nice blue color and i've just got that on there and then there's my other curtain moving along to this bit of wall here i actually have my play button up which of course i'm gonna have that on display i'm so so proud of it i never in a million years thought i'd get a hundred thousand subscribers so it's just insane um so yeah my play button is just hanging up so moving on from this section of my room we now have my bed this is my bed this is the stockholm ottoman storage bed and i am bloody obsessed with it like let me just show you a close-up of how gorgeous this is it's in the crushed velvet silver and as you can see i got the demonte buttons in mine and i love it to bits i think it's so beautiful it's such a statement in the room i got the 150 centimeter headboard so that it was really the statement of my room and I love it. I also got these grey cushions with a slight twinkle in them. These are just from B&M. And then my bedding is a marble bedding, which I picked up in Asda, surprisingly. And I love it. I just straighten it out a bit. But yeah, so I got my marble, marble bedding from Asda. These hanging lights that I've got at the back of my um, wall, these are actually from Amazon. Um, so I will link them below as well. But I love them. They just add such a cosy vibe to my room. Moving on to this little desk desk here I have my lamp this lamp I actually again got an Asda it's a nice lamp I love the style of it however it is orange when you turn it on which is okay because it gives you a cozy aspect to your room moving down to this cabinet which I did have before I did my room out but I decided to keep this one because I like it it's got a drawer and then a cupboard I just hang my keys on here because I'm always losing them so that's why they're on there and again this is just another drawer full of rubbish so that's what's in there in here I have got some clothes um so I had a lot of clothes and I knew I was going to need more storage so I thought I'd keep clothes in here so I've got skirts and then like baggy trousers in there so yeah that's just a little overview of my bedside cabinet then I've also got my ring light and my tripod because I use them on a regular basis and I need them with my bed I thought I would quickly show you how the ottoman storage wall works I'm just going to put you down there and basically at the bottom of my bed there's a piss, piece of rope, a piss. There's a piece of rope here which you just literally pull up. Ta da! And it'll guide itself up. And I have so much storage, it's unreal. Like, and it just holds like that as well. So I don't need to like hold it up or anything. These gas pipes hold it up. The storage is out of this world. So I've literally got like people's Christmas presents at the back. Then I've got my shoes, my bags, just loads of storage it's unreal and i'm obsessed with this and then to pull it back down all i do is grab the bit of rope pull and just let it fall back down and you, your bed doesn't roll up or anything like it stays perfect and honestly ottoman storage beds are so unreal and i'm obsessed with mine so thank you to everyone who said about them in the last video now this is my new cupboard so as you can see i've got a sheer curtain over my wardrobe with a slight twinkle just very very subtle and it looks like this 
Now, I decided to um, take my sliding wardrobes off because I just didn't like them. I found it really, really hard to um, get stuff in and out of them. You know when you just don't like something? I've never had an open store with wardrobes, so I decided to have one, and I love it to bits. I think it's so much more better. So basically, now I've got the sheer curtain on, just to make it a little bit nice, and when I open up my curtain, I have this open plan storage from Ikea. Now this was quite expensive, I think it was around £200, and I've got the two sections. Um, so down the side here, I've just got a little baskety thing with bits and bobs in. I've got some scarves hanging on it, um, and some rubbish down there. I am probably going to get a light put in here, because I would like it to be a bit lighter. In here, I've just filled this with swimwear. In here, I've just got a dressing gown. This, oh, this Marilyn Monroe dressing gown. I love it. It was my mum, and she gave it to me, and I just love it to bits. And then on these, these are just like my going out clothes. And then in these wicker drawers here, which I just got a sock sticking out, I've got my bras, my knickers, my pyjamas. And in the bottom one here, I've got some trousers hanging up and my coats at the bottom. And then also just my jumpers and tops on the top layer. And then I've also got a shelf where I can store shit, which is exactly what I've done. And then I just close my curtains and it looks all nice and pretty. And honestly, I'm obsessed with it. I love it. And then moving on to the last but not least thing in my room, I've added these little picture frame quotes, which I love. So these are actually from the company Box and Bobbins. She very kindly made me these and I love them. So the first one in the middle says, Hey Cherubs, Demi Donnelly. I actually did a giveaway on my Instagram. If you're not following, go and follow it um, for some of these. And I love it to bits. So yeah, this is the Hey Cherubs. And then this quote here. I don't know if you can see it because of the reflection of my light and um, the camera's not picking it up but it says shoot for the moon and even if you miss you'll land among the stars I'm so obsessed with this quote it's done in a gorgeous metallic silver writing as well and then this quote says she believed she could so she did that quote is so relatable and I love it so much and then we're back to my door and yeah that's it this is an overview of my room I'm obsessed with it, okay? I've never had a room which I feel is as coordinated and nice as this one, and I love it to bits. Absolutely love it to bits. Um, I, like, come home and I'm excited to go in my room, whereas I've never, like, felt that before. I certainly didn't feel it before I did all my room out. So I'm so, so happy with my room. And I just wanna say a massive thank you again to my mom and Sean and to all the companies that worked with us and gifted us items for this video. This video isn't sponsored, but I did get a few gifted items and I appreciate them all so much. This is my room and I really hope that you enjoy it. Let me know what's your favourite part of my room in the comments below, like I also said about the giveaway for one of the Ottoman beds. And that's it. That's going to conclude my room tour of 2018. I really hope that you've enjoyed it. Thank you for all the ideas on the back of my last video. And yeah, that's going to conclude this video. And I'll see you tomorrow for tomorrow's video. Bye!